Yo, what up? Welcome to Pick and Pop. We talk about the weird stuff in sports and pop culture. Today, I got my boy South Central Latrell in the house. <laughs> yeah, what up? What up? Ooh, you see on some of my videos, so we're going to break it down yeah. for y'all. Now, you know, my favorite show out there right now is First Take, but I got to say, man, some things are concerning me about that show, man. Let me just play this clip real quick. Destroy. Get your defense. We'll have the your Cowboys boy, right Michael right Irvin. Right now, number three. I mean, do you see those puddles? Yo, it's just my, my man's a sweating. I mean, I mean that's like three or four layers of clothing. It's like, how do you sweat this much? Number two. What you want? Look, now he's starting to notice it. He's catching himself in the monitor. <laughs> he's side. catching himself Easter to the side. monitor. So now he's like, oh shit, what to do? What to do? Look, his mind right there. His mind is like, oh shit, look, they see it. They see it. Don't point up no more. Don't point that switch side. Switch side. Switch side. Look, look, look. He went to the side. He went to the side. Look, watch, he's going to be in a completely different position. So when they get the camera back on. This right now, they're giving him a moment to say, move your ass around. Like, get to see. Look, look, look. Look, look, keep the arm down. It's like shuffle, distract them, shuffle, shuffle, distract, distract. Nobody would know the arm piss, distract. His why the lips is white as his. Well, I'm just saying it, it, it'd be whatever you want, but it's only a dollar for a Carmax. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a big chapstick person myself. So. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. You got that expensive ass suit you sweating through. Get a dollar and go get something to put on your lips. Kids see you. Everything on him is wet right now, but his lip. I'm saying, you know, uh, degree, Old Spice, I think you found your new spokesperson, okay? I know back in the day, Michael Irvin's nickname in the NFL was the playmaker. Hey, now you the sweat maker. I can't tell y'all, I just gave y'all all, everybody here today. You came to this show, I want you to know you came hungry, you're leaving fool. You have been edified, Christian. Intolt. This is this is Mike Irvin sweating again. You see, this time he actually uh, gets a little bit of help. Okay, dude is like Michael. Look, look, look. look at he looking at him like again, again. Oh, Michael's at it again. again? He's like, hey, get Michael, get Michael. Sit your ass down, let him dap you up. <laughs> let him dap you up. Fuck it, you put spry in everywhere. Yo, yes. Hey, hey, but for real, Michael Irvin, you know I got nothing but love for you, brother. Can't wait to see you. Can't wait to have you on Pick and Pop. Yo, I know y'all heard about the Bluebell Bandit, the girl who was licking all up and down on the ice cream. Lick it, lick it. Oh, you foul. Put it back, put it back, put it back, put it back. Oh, you... Okay, so this now viral video shows a young woman opening a new carton of ice cream, taking a lick, and putting it back on the supermarket shelf. But now it's time for the Pennsylvania potato pisser. Apparently, police are seeking a woman who urinated on a bunch of potatoes in a local Walmart in Pennsylvania. For all y'all in Pennsylvania who are possibly thinking about making a baked potato tonight, you should probably rethink that idea. But the biggest point with this, she looked like she's crazy. She looked like she would be stuffing some potatoes in her bag or up in her pants. But pissing on the potatoes, she looked like that would be something she would do. An employee that saw her, what did you do? A Walmart representative told the TV station an employee saw what the woman was doing. Now my whole thing, if, if you saw what she was doing, why didn't you stop her? Wait, that was it? They saw, that's all they said? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I thought it was like a comma or something. I know that was the end of sentence. No, that, that that was, that's what they that's said. That's the end of your statement. Mm -hmm, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, we saw her. So you just gonna let her piss on potatoes <laughs> and it don't do nothing? Like, come on now. You can't just walk around here letting people piss on potatoes and you're like, oh, you know, we're gonna make sure we put you in jail, not let you walk out this. And apparently, this isn't the first time that a Walmart has been hit. Cell phone video shows teens climbing on a beverage shelf at a Porter Walmart. Sheriff deputies tell Eyewitness News after the video started going around social media, people contacted Walmart. After looking at the video, deputies say one of the teens urinated on that shelf. And then our next story. Indiana woman reportedly, listen to this, showed up to a meeting with her probation officer wearing somebody else's dentures. Ah! There they are. Joanne Childers, probation officer, noticed she was sporting a different set of teeth, Ooh. became suspicious. Childers is accused of stealing the dentures and then was confronted about it by police who visited her house a few days later. It's just, how, my, my first thing that comes to my head is just how small is this community? 
You know what I'm saying? For the fact that a parole officer heard of missing dentures. You know what I'm saying? So how, what type of town is that? And what type of parole officer are you? And how nosy are you that you have somebody come into your office and you instantly know, like, oh, that ain't they teeth. Like, no, no, I want to know the person like who stole the dentures. Were you just like, dang, I don't know where my dentures are today. Let me go over to Cleophis' house and try to, <laughs> and find, <laughs> try to find her dentures. Oh, she got them in the jar. You know let, 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 me, let me get them while she's not looking. You know what? This is the thing, though. You put somebody <laughs> else's dentures in your mouth, all the saliva and shit that goes on up in your mouth. For me, I feel like that's the most disgusting thing you can do. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. He's laughing because he knows where I'm going with this. Yeah. So this mother went viral because wow. she says that anyone who does not have children should be permanently banned from Disney World because she had such a bad experience at Disney World. And she went on this huge Facebook rant, which we, we got to show y'all. We, we, we got to go over this rant. It pisses me off to no end when I see childless couples without at Disney World. DW is a family amusement park, yet these immature millennials throw away their money on useless crap. They have no idea the joy and happiness it is to mothers who buys their babies treats and toys. Buys, okay. They will never experience the exhaustion that it is to chase a three-year-old around and getting stares at assuming I'm a bad mother. This C word in some very S-L-U-T-T-Y shorts was buying a Mickey pretzel and Aiden wanted one, but the line was very long. So I said later and it broke his poor little heart and he cried, I wanted to take that effing pretzel from that tramp. Like, thanks, bitch, you made my son cry. I effing hate childless women with a burning passion. It's like, what is wrong with you? I feel sorry for Aiden. Because now we know Aiden is your child's name. And now we see that if Aiden comes to the school, you know, your kid could be getting made fun out of school because you putting out shit like this. She probably one of them people who got her kid on the leash. Oh, yes. I yes, bet you that. Yes. She's like, Aiden, no, we can't get a press. So Aiden yank his ass back. Yo, thanks for checking out Pick and Pop. It's my boy Latrell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow us on IG. Share, like, subscribe. Till next time, Pick and Pop. Woo! It was you, it was definitely you. Oh, yeah, it's definitely hurt me. Oh, shit.